example everybody a microcontroller is a tiny computer typically it has a cpu a ram flash and a bunch of pins that stick out as you can see in this diagram the ram which translates random access memory is a volatile memory that is used for temporary storage we say it is volatile because immediately you cut power to the microcontroller you lose the data that the RAM stores. When the program is running, the RAM stores things like the variables and the stacks. ROM, on the other hand, read-only memory, is a non-volatile memory that can be used to store firmware or data that doesn't change frequently. Traditionally, ROM is rarely used in modern microcontroller units, but the concept includes storage mechanisms that retain data even when power is cut off. So when power is cut off, the ROM retains its data. The flash memory is a specific type of non-volatile memory, which means that when the power is cut off, all the data that is saved in the flash is retained. Now, the flash is often used in MCUs to store the firmware. For example, when you are booting your MCU, it first needs to reset in instructions and all those code are stored in the flash. Sometimes it is also used to store constant data. Now, flash retains its content even when the power is off. Now, depending on the microcontroller that you use, you see a lot of pins. Some may have 64, some might have even over 100 pins. Some of the pins are used for power, specifically the ground and the VCC pins. Now, the other pins are mostly used to communicate with peripherals. When I say peripherals, in this instance, I'm talking about external devices like a temperature sensor, pressure sensor, motion sensor, whatever sensor that you have. An LED is one of the simple electrical devices that you can connect to a microcontroller, right? So you connect one side to ground. Normally, we connect the shorter leg to ground and you connect the longer leg leg to a different pin a signal pin on the microcontroller so what happens is you write a firmware on the microcontroller and the microcontroller send high or low voltage to the signal pin if it sends high voltage to the pin the led turns on and if it sends low voltage that is zero volts then the led is going to turn off right there is no power the interesting thing about a microcontroller is not all these cool pins that are sticking out or the design or the circuit board the fascinating thing about the microcontroller is on the inside now when we cut open a microcontroller not like you are going to cut it open but when we do a microcontroller contains different types of peripherals inside the microcontroller we have a cpu we have rom flash ram rcc is clock we have gpio and a lot of other peripherals like the uart and the spi and i square c a lot of them okay we cannot represent everything here now all these peripherals that you see occupy a specific place inside the microcontroller the same way your house is located at a specific place inside the microcontroller every peripheral including the core peripherals the cpu the rom the flash the ram they are a specific address now if you want to communicate with a particular peripheral you go and you get the address of that peripheral now let's assume that the first peripheral inside this microcontroller is the cpu and because it is first we are going to give it an address of zero okay so now we have eight zeros and this number is in hex if that is the case and let's assume that each peripheral that you see here is one kilobyte in size now one kilobyte is 1024 to reach the power 10 we can say that the first address starts at 000 000, 000 000 which means that the second peripheral here is the rom will have an address of 0x 000 400 now 400 is in hex and when you convert it to decimal you get 1024 the third peripheral here that is the flash will contain an address of what i think you can guess now the address are going to increment by one kilobyte 1024 so the first one start at zero the next one start at what 1024 then the third one is going to start at 2048 now 2048 in hex is 800 all right so the address of the flash will be 0x 0000800 and the others follow suit the address for the ram will be c00 the address for the rcc will be 1000 and the address of the gpio will be 1400 of course i'm not saying the four zeros but they are part of the address this is how easy it is to get the address of all the peripherals inside the microcontroller so now 
if we scroll up a little you see all these pins right we call them gpio pins and the gpio pins are part of the gpio peripheral if i want to connect an led to this pin it means that i need to go inside the microcontroller get the address of the gpio when i get the address of the gpio then i can take it from there there are different types of microcontroller unit architectures. We have 8-bit microcontrollers. We have 16-bit, 32-bit architecture. A microcontroller with a 32-bit architecture can address a memory space of 2 raised to the power 32, and that will give us 4 gigabytes of space. So in a 32-bit microcontroller architecture, the size of the registers will be 32-bit. In normal sense, a register maybe is used for keeping stuff. You use a register to keep names of people or probably names of items. It is the same in microcontrollers. Now, a microcontroller has peripherals, right? We have RAM, we have RCC, we have GPI. Now, when you pick one peripheral, inside that peripheral, we have registers. Different peripherals have different registers. So, for example, the RCC peripheral will have different number of registers compared to the GPIO. Just see registers as a space inside the peripheral, but actually it's a circuit that makes that peripheral act in a certain way. If you want one pin of the microcontroller to power an LED, you have to go to the register that is specific for doing that. For example, outputting that and you write to that register or you read from that register. Let's scroll down here. Now, before we talk a little bit about registers, the inside of the microcontroller, when we lay microcontroller on a flat plane, if this is supposed to be the space inside the microcontroller, the first address start here and the flash will be located somewhere there and the RAM and the peripherals. When you pick one peripheral, the GPIO peripheral, it has a couple of registers. Let's say we have register 0, register 1, register 2, register 3. When you pick UART peripheral, it has a couple of registers. As I said, different peripherals have different number of registers for different purposes. 